Jeff, great to have you back. It's been a while. Uh, nice to see you. Um, our audience and the investing world know you as an activist. And so I wonder the fit for a company that would be considering merging with your SPAC to go public. Do they really want an activist as a partner? Isn't that in some ways a threat to certain managements that might consider partnering with you? How do you make the pitch? Hi, David. How are you? It's nice to talk to you. <laughs> you too. Um, look, we're very excited about SVAC and the launch of SVAC. It, it, um, it's another stage for what we're doing at Starboard. So what we do at Starboard is we invest in, as you know, undervalued, undermanaged uh, companies that are under earning where we can get involved and make a difference. And those are public companies already. Those are companies where we, we buy a stake in those companies and we work with the management team to get them to perform better, to focus on their core business and to improve their bottom line results and therefore prove value for the benefit of all shareholders. And we're usually one of the larger shareholders. So for SVAC, for a SPAC, we're looking to do the same thing. We're looking to um, find similar companies that are private. They start out private and then we merge them into SVAC. And we're really good at taking those businesses and using our expertise as public company managers and, and board members and, and governance experts in improving the discipline, uh, improving the focus, improving the revenue growth rate, improving the uh, operating margins. And if you do both of those, if you improve the revenue growth rate and the operating margins, you really accelerate the bottom line profitability. And when you do that, you create a lot of value for the benefit of, of shareholders and hopefully also change the perception of that company and improve multiple along the way, which really improves value. Again, we do that with the public companies where we get involved. And we're looking to use SVAC to take a great private company and, and make it better. So a, a great brand, a great business, a business that that um, should be well positioned in its space, but maybe isn't reaching all of its potential. And for us to be able to transform that business and make it different and make it better, which is a little different from what um, most of the SPACs that are out there are doing. But to answer your yes. question. David, yes, it is. It, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is different, Jeff. And I, and I want to get back to the activism, but let me just focus on that. I mean, right now when we see these companies, they are either early in their growth cycle, but certainly growth names, Almost all of them. I mean, we know you, as you pointed out, somebody who came into Darden helped turn that company around. Somebody came into Papa John's and has been helping to turn that company around. But turnarounds don't seem to be a great sale prospect when it comes to a SPAC. You, know, you want to get that stock above 10 bucks there when you announce that deal. I, I don't know. Is it self-limiting in some way what you're trying to do here? Well, it's differentiated, David. It's definitely differentiated. Look, we, we at Starboard, we don't do the same thing that everybody else does. We take a look at what's happening and, and we try and make it better and different and on brand for what we do. And that's what we do. We're highly, highly operational, as you know. We transform businesses. We see this as a great opportunity and a great opportunity for those kinds of businesses. And I can, I can touch on what types of businesses they might be and what they might look like. But to go back to your earlier question about whether somebody would choose to work with Starboard, we, we did some other things that were different with SVAC too, is we, we looked at our relationship network. We have amazing relationships, you know, from the past 17 years of doing what we do in all different industries with great operators. And we combined some of the, some of our best relationships into SVAC. So we have Aaron Russell, Anthony Sanfilippo, Nigel Travis and, and Greg Waters as operating partners for us covering different industry segments where we can bring to the table a lot of expertise in, in terms of being able to transform the business. But when we call a company, so David, there's there's a common misperception out there that people don't want to hear from us. I mean, and you you joke about that and you say, well, you know, Jeff Smith's calling, is anybody going to pick up the phone? It doesn't really work that way. I mean, People love talking to us. They, they think we're smart. They think we're really good at what we do. And they want to hear our ideas for how they can transform their business. Companies that may be afraid to talk to us that would be in the public marketplace would be ones that would be insecure. They'd be worried. They'd be worried that if we got involved, that maybe we, we might replace them as, as a manager. But that's because they could be vulnerable and they're not performing well. That's not the case for most companies that we talk to. Most of the companies we talk to doing our research, we talk to companies all the time. They love talking to us. They want to talk about their industry because if they're secure in what they do and they feel really good at how they run their businesses, they love to hear our, our ideas and they love to partner with us. 
I recruit talented managers all the time to companies. I recruit CEOs, I recruit right. CFOs, members of management all the time. I recruit board members all the time. We talk to private companies all the time. They pick up the phone when, when we call more than I think anybody picks up the phone when other people call. So the access to companies is not going to be hard. When we call a private company, they're going to want to hear what our ideas are and what we can do with their business. 